before we wrap up i would just like to tell the students about how the future careers bridge uh, is related to the bse program and explain how we will help them going forward as we have heard the future careers bridge is developed by slascom to identify enable and develop ready and employable talent in the industry future careers bridge version 2.0 was launched on the 21st of october the soft launch was on the 1st of august because many of the students here have already established accounts on the second version in september you can look at this newspaper article which discusses the launch and gives some explanation about the background to future careers bridge now our bsc program also wants to prepare students for the software industry and as we have been told many times the software industry requires both technical and communication skills now in the bse program there is a course agm 3263 communication skills it's a compulsory subject in the first year now the future careers bridge fundamentals as natalie has shown us are mostly related to communication skills and since they have been given by the industry we can consider them to be the industry standard for communication skills right and many of the tasks that are in the fundamental challenges as well as the course communication skills are the same for example how to prepare a cv how to make a presentation and so on therefore we are going to kill two birds with one stone we are going to include the basic that means the fundamental fcb challenges in this course agm 3263 right so you have to submit them for this course as well as do the challenges and upload them to the required website uh, or the required place in the fcb website the bachelor of software engineering program was the first to do this that means to require the future careers bridge challenges as part of a course in the program we incorporated uh, the fcb fundamental challenges we decided to do this in december last year for the senior batch that is senior to this current batch now we have been told that the it faculty of the university of morotua and more recently the engineering faculty of the university of morotua have also decided to include the fundamental future careers bridge challenges in their communication skills course right and uh, there is no reason why all university programs not just engineering or it or software but all programs should probably include these fundamental challenges because they are related to communication skills in the modern world using it now how will we support the future careers bridge now students are registering on that website and going through the exercises we will have a separate learning management system page so that you can discuss these challenges amongst yourselves and also with uh, your teachers uh, we will post additional resource material there we will have our own leaderboard so that you can see uh, how far you are ahead in the challenges compared to the rest of your batch and we will continue this support throughout the first year right not just during the orientation period that is now but throughout the first year now during the start at ousl which has already begun there will be uh, special sessions on the challenges related to english right this will be so in parallel to the efil and the egap programs then during agm 3263 we will have sessions and tutors will explain to you and help you develop your answers to the fundamental challenges that are the same as the requirements of this course to finish i should mention that last year 22 of the 50 future careers bridge leaders selected for the slascom boot camp in december 2021 were from your senior batch 
because they had been asked to do the future careers bridge as soon as we started the orientation program like we have asked you right in addition to that several students received invitations to interview for positions in slashcom companies in december 2021 this is before the start of the first semester basically they were invited because of their performance on the future careers bridge and nothing to do with the open university now we introduced the future careers bridge to you in september during pre application awareness sessions because we consider it to be very important and we are very happy to see that if you look at the OUSL leaderboard on the future careers bridge five of the top 10 students are from this new batch that means from you ba your batch and i know that at least one of you the person who is third on the list is uh, on the zoom call today because i saw her name now we hope that these students will also be noticed by the industry and call for interviews and so on you don't have to take the job but it means that you are getting noticed and you can decide whether you want to do the job while doing the uh, courses or not and we will help you do that right that is all from me uh thank you very much i would like once again to thank uh, everybody who organized this session and specially natali from slashcom and tatsarani from 99x for speaking during the session thank you and good night